In this example, we want to find the derivative for cosine of xy equals to 1 plus sine y. Okay, so let's first uh, write this in, uh, in, in uh, implicit form. Okay, so we're going to have cosine of xy minus sine y equals to 1. Okay, so from here we're going to take the derivative of each of these functions, of each of these terms. So we're going to have uh, the derivative of cosine xy with respect to x, and we're going to take the derivative of sine y with respect to x equals to the derivative of 1. In that case, we're just going to get 0. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and simplify these now. So the derivative of cosine of xy, that's going to be minus sine of xy times the derivative with respect to x of x times y. Okay, minus the derivative of sine y is going to be um, cosine y times dy dx. Okay, again, we're using implicit differentiation. So since we're taking the derivative with respect to x, um, whenever we come across a term with y in it, we need to put dy dx, okay? All right, so from here, from this point, we need to use uh, the product rule, okay? So we're going to have minus sine of xy times, okay, we're going to take the, uh, we have the uh, x, okay? Okay, so we have x times the derivative of the second part. So we're going to have y prime, or you can write that as dy dx, plus y times the derivative of x with respect to x. So we're going to get 1 here. Okay, so again, we just apply the product rule. Okay. Okay, then we have cosine y times dy dx equals to zero. Okay, so we need to simplify this. Then we need to uh, go ahead and isolate dy dx. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute the uh, minus sine xy term. So we're going to have minus x times sine xy times dy dx minus y times sine of xy and then minus uh, cosine y dy dx. Okay. Alright, so now um, we can go ahead and isolate the dy dx term. Okay, so we have a dy dx here and a dy dx here. Okay, so we're going to have minus x times sine xy times dy dx minus cosine of y times dy dx equals to y times sine xy okay all right so then from here we can go ahead and factor out dy dx so we have minus x times sine xy minus cosine y equals to y times sine xy okay so then we're going to get dy dx equal to y times sine xy all divided by minus x times sine xy minus cosine y. Okay, and then we can write this as minus, go ahead and put the negative on top, so we have minus y times sine xy all divided by
x times sine x y minus cosine y. Or actually, sorry, plus cosine y. Since we put the negative on top. Okay, so this is our solution. Okay, so that is again we using implicit differentiation. So I move over the sine y, uh, take the derivative term by term, and whenever you take a derivative with, uh, if you see a term with y in it, and you're taking the derivative with respect to x, then you need to put uh, y prime, okay? Or in other words, put dy dx, whichever notation you want to use. And then from there, the next step is to, uh, uh, is to solve for dy dx, okay? All right. And that's at this point. So we start to solve for dy dx here. Okay. And we did that by factoring out. Okay. We want to isolate dy dx. So we move the term without dy dx on the other side. And then, um, and then factored out the dy dx. And then went ahead and divide. Uh, the term next to dy dx so that we could get our uh, result, okay?